Hi everyone, it's Morgan from For the Love of Paper and I am here with a different kind of process video for you today. I am doing a little project in my one of my Traveller's Notebooks. I've actually got a couple of little projects in um, Traveller's Notebooks coming up. Uh, this one is a photo, photo a day challenge that I did in uh, February. A couple of the photos are from March because I forgot, but... Um, yeah, so I uh, followed a few prompts from different places and took one photo every day for the month. And yeah, so I decided to use up one of my traveler's notebooks and stick them stick them in there as a little, little fun project. And I am also using my uh, kit from Scrapping Fun Kits. So this is my first official... Um, monthly um, design team project for Scrapping Fun Kids, which is really, really awesome. And I have to apologize if you can hear the noise. One of the planes just started to fly over as I started to record this. Um, so, yeah, I know we did the, um, the neon kit last month, and I had a couple of projects for that. But this one is the first kit that you can get. You can get your hands on this kit. And I will leave a link down below and at the end of the video if you would like to subscribe to Scrapping Fun Kits and get one for yourself. So I started off trimming down the photo. It is really small. It's only probably about, it's probably about an inch and a quarter by an inch and a quarter. So it's a tiny photo. And I mounted it on a bit of... Uh, white cardstock and now I'm trying to build up a couple of layers <coughs> excuse me on my page so I wanted to use one of the doilies and purple is my favorite color so it just fitted perfectly that this kit was all purple which is super exciting for me and I tried to use that floral doily to start with but it was just a bit too too much in the background too busy so I went with the plain purple one and then I mounted the photo on a piece of the um, what is it the cardstock that came in the kit so we did get one four by six sheet of pattern paper and then we got two three by four pieces of pattern paper so I just trimmed one down and used it as a bit of background and then just gluing my doily down with some um what is that it's glue stick just plain old glue stick from the office shop <laughs> i don't even know where it's from but all the glue came through the holes in the doily and it made a bit of a mess so just trying to tidy that up a little bit and this layout i think i think it took me about 15 minutes to complete not very long at all but it wasn't like the my whole idea was this was just a really quick uh, project that I wanted to do um, for last month and I'll be sharing these um, on my channel and on my blog every just periodically when when I need to fill in a gap I suppose so you won't see all of the photos straight away but this is just the first one that I did. I haven't even done a title page in the, the little book yet, but we'll get there. I've got so many projects on the go at the moment. It's not funny. <laughs> I really need to, um, to cut back on the amount of projects that I've got or that I want to do. The list is just never ending. My brain is going crazy trying to think of all these different ideas that I want to do. So I wanted to get one of these flare badges on. I can't remember what it says. Uh, it says fun times. And I do enjoy a cup. This is my um, the title, which I haven't done yet. Uh, so the prompt was in my cup. So I took a photo of my gigantic mug that I got for Mother's Day last year. This mug is absolutely massive it's probably equivalent to about three regular cups of tea and my husband makes me one almost every single morning when I get up or even before I get up he makes me a cup of tea and it lasts me 
most of the morning. I do reheat it a little bit, but it does last me most of the morning, which is pretty cool. And yeah, so in my mug is just, just tea, nothing exciting, but I enjoy it every day. I didn't, the, at the beginning of my pregnancy, actually for the first like six months, seven months even, you know, probably about six months, I could not even stand the thought of drinking tea. So I am so happy to have um, have my taste back and it doesn't make me <laughs> feel sick anymore, which is pretty good, I must say. And that was a paper clip that came in a the kit and I just stuck it on the top of the page I actually end up gluing two pages together um, in the album one because there's too many pages and some of my embellishments are a little bit bulky so I knew I was never going to fill in every single page and second of all just makes it a bit more sturdy because the pages in that um, traveler's notebook are quite thin so having them double thickness uh, really helps and then I got one of my roller stamps out you saw those little cards that I had before um, a lot of my roller stamps have the phrases on them and there's a couple I have that don't so I don't always know what they are so I just stamped out all the phrases that were on the stamp and I can just look at it at a glance and know exactly what stamp has what on it so I stamped priorities on that because it is my morning priority to have my cup of tea and then getting these alphas out I wanted purple alphas on the layout and I did not have any purple alphas at all so I these are my go-to ones I think these are um uh they're Becky Higgins um Project Life that's what I'm thinking of uh that's where these ones come from and I had a couple of packs of them and they are my go-to for coloring in to change the color they're uh, like a light gray beigey color and I just use some alcohol markers and color them in with whatever color I feel like it works really well I don't know why just these particular alphas <laughs> seem to take the color really really well so as I said before, my title is just in my cup and then I do tea down the bottom near the photo. So this layout has quite a lot of white space on it. I don't fill in the background a lot. I was thinking about doing some mixed media, but I decided not to. I just went nice and simple for this one. And as I said, it was just meant to be a quick layout, so I didn't want to go overboard and crazy. And that wood veneer is probably way too big <laughs> to be putting in this little booklet, but never mind, it's going in <laughs> and I'm going to make it work. So that's, enough, that's one of the reasons why I'm using like two pages stuck together because of the, the little bit of bulk. So just putting a few dots of glue around everywhere so I can stick some sequins down and I think that's that's everything yeah I think that's this layout pretty much done I am actually going to go back and do a little bit of journaling at the bottom I've decided as I go back and watch this my brain's like yeah I'm going to journal about how I have a cup of tea every morning that my husband makes me so yes i shall do that later on but thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe to the scrapping fun kits in the link below and also check out the blog post thanks for watching bye